Hello everybody, this is BUZZ Buzz here with another TV Royale Best of Video. Now this replay has over 45,000 views. You know me guys, I only bring you the best. In the bottom blue, we have Nathan Yolo. In the top red, we have Ruben. Ruben is the name of a good sandwich, but anyways, both of these players, top level clashers, guaranteed to give us an exciting replay. I am getting messaged. Even though I have my do not disturb on, I'm gonna have to do some research as to why it does not work. It's kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Now this uh, executioner not doing his job, Nathan had to use his tornado, unfortunately, but now it might actually, nope, never mind. I was gonna say, it might turn out in his favor. Not, not so much, not, uh, not so much. So Nathan is in clan that click. While Ruben is in clan Toxicity City. Wow, I actually did that right. Toxic Toxic I'm not even gonna try it again. I did it right on the first time. That's all that matters. Here we go, Nathan again trying to defend with great honor. He will have a lot of goblins here. Uh, the 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 mortar has locked on. This is not good. He threw the golem in the oh, and what am I talking about? It had no HP. Nathan, on the other hand, is trying to make this attack happen. He will set that. You know the weird thing about the the night witch is he he produces bats constantly, right? So it's he's kind of like a hybrid building card. He's like a building card because he's always producing bats. Look at that. He's got a whole set of bats on there. Nathan decisively taking that tower. I don't think Ruben is going to make a comeback, guys. I'm just going to call it. And if he does, Nathan's going to go for that double tower victory. As we know, he probably can. That's my prediction of this game. We'll see what actually happens. We got a double Motar. We'll see how that is going to play out here for Nathan as it does lock on. Fortunately, to the left tower, going to probably take out that tower. Uh, Nathan deciding not to defend. I don't know about that. He does have that bat producing Night Witch in the back there. See, look, she produces two. She'll produce another two and then die and then produce another two. Look at that. That's four bats for the price of four. The Night Witch costs four. Um, yeah, she's really good. Ruben able to guarantee the left tower, but that is GG. I really like this deck by uh, the blue player, Nathan. I really like it. It's um, the way that Night Witch produces the bats. And uh, it's really interesting how that deck works. Wow, Ruben's deck, I'm not going to lie, it looks so boring. Motar decks have always been the most boring decks in the game. I don't know why anybody would want to play them. Those and uh, Hogs. To me, it's like, yo, what's good? The reason Royal Giants is kind of like a fun deck because it costs six. It's such a huge risk. So it kind of pays off because he's kind of like doing a lot of damage. I don't know if you guys remember, but Royal Giant back in the day did not do that much damage it was kind of weak so they did give him a huge buff and now we see him a lot more these days so well anyway i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching if you have not hit that subscribe button what are you doing hit it for me so that you can join the class royale community which by the way is thriving go check us out on twitch we got like 7k viewers which is not that bad we might not be thriving on twitch we got a lot of viewerships on YouTube. A lot of people with 100,000 views and up. The Clash Royale community is alive and well. We need more. If you guys want to make a YouTube channel, do it. Comment down below. I'll give you a shout out. I mean, I ain't got much to shout out. But I'll give you a shout out. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, Skibbity scrap now. I already said all this. Jeez, man. I got to get better at this YouTube thing.